Greetings and salutations, welcome back to our Let's Play of the U4 with Webmaster Prentice Tomoka. And we're going for the Laughing Stock Achievement, which requires that we own the provinces of Haha -Ha Hihi and Roland. And we have just picked up the second one of those, but we have a lot of aggressive expansion in West Africa, so we're going to try to be relatively passive there for a little bit, and it's a great opportunity to present itself. Those things could get really ugly for us if we get a huge coalition. The Mollies still going through some hard times on account of their bankruptcy. But eventually they'll recover and there's uh, yeah. defensiveness reduction. This could be a rough war for us, because it would be hard if several of these people joined together. Because they do have some forts, including in terrain favorable to them. And they could bring up lots of forces that could attack us from all directions. So, I would just rather not have a coalition there. Target outrage countries with all of our diplomats. So we've spent over 2,000 dockets recently. And global trade should trigger in the next couple of years. Can you start saving us some cash for that? Keep an eye on Pam over here. I'd like to get a border with them, invade, so that we have an orthodox province, so we can flip over to orthodox. Can we get some cash here? Can I do it? And they're happy with us again. These guys will be happy with us really soon. Especially if we give them a province, we'll give them that. And I don't think I want to pull back our colonist to start on this when it's going to cost us a bunch of money. So we'll just wait till he's free. Well, maybe. Because this one's about to be done, too. Oh, no, we'll recover some cash. We need cash. So once he's done, we'll start up a new colony in southeastern Africa. Here's our control of spice. No, we'll, we'll go for this one. Take on their debt, how much would that be? Oop, no, that's way too much for those points. That's more reasonable. So our attitude with them is friendly. And see how much. That's a lot of money. Get some relations. But okay. Now from here at the end of the year, so with the aggressive expansion will burn off. Basically, I consider this to be buying ourselves a bit more points. Well, tip of that. Increase our control of the spice. I guess if that's our only option, we'll go for it. Uh, 
Send the simple. We'll have to pull it out later if we want to change religions of the province. And that will reduce goods produced temporarily. That's okay. Where would we get our spices? I think we have to invade Barad or the Spice Islands for the most part. Things are coming with you. I'm still allied with you, they are. They don't like us much for being their ally. Plus 62. Gonna be spices. Let's take a look. So the lock of Brunei would be great targets for Rock, of course has some um, this could produce them, we could get just their colonization. We've got better targets. And um oh more. Great targets. If we took this, we could open up some options, but not seeing anything really great. Okay, do we care about that? No. Blockade impact on the siege for the navy. For the ship trade power propagation. We'll take this one, but we're not close to flipping religions, I don't think. Place I forgot to check. Stand here for spices. Wow, that is slave heavy. I didn't realize that was so slave heavy. It's probably strangely more slaves from here than from what's colloquially called the slave coast, but maybe that's just because slaves have been produced here because it has been colonized. Free diplomat, let's stick them on outraged countries. I really do want this military tech 15. Boy, I'm going to pass on it because that would get us even further out of balance tech. And I know the next idea we're taking. Next time we have enough points in Diplo, we're taking this exploration idea rather than getting the tech. And the big worry is that Muscovy is going to cut us off, but they don't actually have a colonist yet. This is stuff that they conquered from Uzbek. In order to get a colonist, they either need to take an idea or form Russia. In order to form Russia, they're going to need... I think they need some combination of Riaz and Tver and Smolensk. So our truce with Mali is over, and they're in a war with Songhai. We could beat up on them further. Shanti Separatists, that would be great. Because I bet I could facilize them diplomatically. Oh, 
Gordon's reading your rocks. I wonder if they've started taking... No, they didn't take any colonial ideas. Mamluks have survived for so long and gotten so many forts that they might as well, but they haven't so far. So now we should get for some stuff. Thinking it might be in our interest to conquer a marina. Probably so big that we could never vassalize them. Yeah, more than 100 to the development. Yeah, I'm always going to lose this one. Let's check our aggressive expansion. Minus 93. 15 prestige. Yeah, we'll go to cash. Yeah, we could probably prey upon them pretty easily right now. But people in West Africa are upset with us. We have a potential coalition of Timbuktu, Songhai, Mali, and then Morocco. These two like this quite a bit. Oh, and Ben likes this quite a bit. I'm not going to attack them into the highlands, I'll let them move into this fort, and that axe so will be the defender. So they have 26 of them with 5,000 cannons, 7,000 cavalry, and a 5310 general. That could put the herd on us. Improve relations with their allies. Fortunately, we haven't been called into any wars. Whoa! Oh, France, what happened to you? Excommunication, OP. Sort out that garrison. They'll probably still win. Yeah, they're gonna win. And this fort might fall since we did sort out the garrison. And we'll have to move these forces right back down south again. Okay, we get some admin tech. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Even though it's going to cause some advanced tech issues. Either of them likes us enough to want to ask us for military access, as they view us as enemies. Uh, we'll give some money to our 
the states, make them like us a little bit more. Is the global trade not traitor? It did not. Crazy. I see enough where I could get a sense of who's going to get it. The deck set. 30 to 31 ducats. So, that, they're gonna get it. And we couldn't compete, even if we moved our center down here. Pushed all this trade down. I need to ensure that this goes down. We need merchants to be pushing the trade from these. Well, we just can't do that. I think we could get to about half of that with what we currently own. There's certainly some attrition here. So let's check to see what we can expect. 8k entirely manageable. Yep, yeah, you're being rude. If they're weaker, I would claim this and threaten war and then do the same on Socotra. And the same up here. And then probably do it on here to get the spice. Or just attack them for a couple spice producing provinces, but Ethiopia would never cave in. Theologian. I'm just going to go for a cheap guy for the moment. Because we're furthest ahead on admin tech anyway. And the next level isn't going to give us any new ideas or anything critical like that. Hurry it up, hurry it up. This is starting to advance nicely. Our king wants four, two, three consort. Sorry. You can't have her. I guess her, her legitimacy isn't as big of a problem since we gain over two per year, so we'd recover that in ten years, but still. A lot of legitimacy to lose. For something that really doesn't do much for us. They still hate us. Hmm. Up two. It's almost out of coalition range. And Morocco is almost out of range. Fifty-two 
So next year, they'll be able to watch. So we'll just behave ourselves until then. Ooh, there's a Shanti. Toss my line, see if that puts us one over. That. Go for the fort defense guy. I imagine that they wouldn't uh, be our friend for very long. <laughs> I use friends with air quotes there. Okay, if we do this... Plus 15% morale and a merchant. I think I'm going to save up for the tech. Oh, Netherlands. So we're kind of shape her. Pretty weak. But Friesland could always join the Republic. That would make them stronger. Utrecht could. And then Rebels could get them a little bit further. Okay, global trade. Let's check on that. Lubeck, yeah, no surprise there. I think we left this. Okay, good, we did turn off that development. Okay, where are we going to develop next? It is a center of trade. Ah, oh, it's too here. Oh, we could do it there as well. It's fifteen percent. Is there anywhere that's not that bad? This is a center of trade. Let's go for encourage development. And we'll start with some admin points. Okay, Christian influences. Uh, no, we don't want any Catholic provinces. We're going to go for admin. We want Christian provinces, but we want them to be orthodox. Are we only getting one point? No, we have two points. Let's get their trade power. Okay, so we can get 50 Diplo, 50 Admin, 25 Military. Let's go for the Diplo power. So we're not getting much there. This Merchant. And I think we do want to try making more of this trade power go down south. I'm not sure if... 
We really should set this to be our center of trade. Push down from here to there. But we don't have the points to be able to justify that at the moment. Hey, Shanti. Welcome to our vassal station. Wouldn't be a bad idea to vassalize them as well, but not yet. Just march these guys north. Okay, so that's one colony. Let's start with our second one here. And we'll send this guy back to outraged countries. I think we could only see a two-nation coalition against this one. Yeah. So that makes us relatively safe for the moment. Okay, let's start building up the spine orc there. And Audron, I don't think we're ever going to get you as a vassal. I don't think you're actually very useful to us as an ally at this point. Yeah, let's just dissolve this alliance. Instead, we're going to vassalize everything. Boss General, that's unfortunate. Take that or develop. We're going to get attacked for the moment. And the reason why I did that, I should explain, is because province that we're developing were furthest ahead on base tax, so I wouldn't be able to develop with this point so yet. Yeah, infantry, no one's going to rise up in the next month, but we are working on colonies, so let's wait till last month possible, and let's get some offensive power here. So South Africans. We can get seven more units of troops. I think the place that we need them is in Southeast Africa. It's part of a planned invasion of Imarina. So that's cannons and some infantry. Okay. okay. Welcome to being our vassal. And how are you guys doing? Financially, no debt, and no debt. So now our merchants have a great deal of power. Let's see, what ideas did they take? Defensive espionage offensive. 
You get to be in my march. Because you have a cool flag. Let's keep an eye on our time here. 30 minutes, let's stop. 